Welcome to iLecture Online and here's another example of how you solve problems dealing with direct and inverse variation also called uh, when one variable is proportional to another one. And here we're dealing with a problem where we have a light source. The light source is 10 meters away and it, at 10 meters it gives you an intensity of 50 watts per square meters. They tell us that the intensity varies inversely as the square of the distance. And they now also want us to figure out what the intensity will be if the light source is placed 30 meters away. So the strategy is to first write down the, uh, the proportionality, in other words the intensity is proportional to 1 over the distance squared. So that's what they're saying here. The intensity varies inversely, 1 over the square of the distance, distance squared. All right, now we're going to change it into a, an equation. We're going to add a constant of proportionality, so we can now write that i is equal to k times 1 over distance squared. So to change this into an equal sign, you have to multiply the right side by k. And now the question is, what is k equal to? Well, plug in the values that are given in for i and d, and we can figure out what k is equal to. So when the intensity is 50 watts per square meter, then you have k times 1 over the distance 10 meters squared. Simplifying that, we have 50 is equal to k times 1 over 100. And then if we multiply both sides by 100, this will cancel out, and we end up with 5,000 is equal to k. And when we plug that back into the equation, we can now say that the intensity is equal to 5,000 times 1 over the distance squared, d squared. There's our equation. Now we can use that equation to figure out the second part of the problem where they want us to find out what the intensity will be when the source is 30 meters away. So then we write the intensity when d is equal to 30 meters is equal to the 5,000 times 1 over 30 squared. And working that out, we have the intensity when the distance is equal to 30, that's equal to 5,000 times 1 over 900. So these two zeros cancel out those two zeros, and 50 divided by 9 is about 55 or 56, so the intensity when d is equal to 30 is equal to about 56, ooh, not 56, but 5.6, 5.6 watts per square meter. There we go. And that's how you use that technique. It's actually quite elegant and quite simple, again, following the direction, write down your proportionality as is indicated, then change it into an equation by introducing a proportionality constant, k, then plug in the values for your variable so you can figure out what k is equal to. Once you do that, you plug that back in to get your equation, including the value of k, and then you plug in a new value for the independent variable to calculate the value for the new dependent variable, assuming you know what the um, information is that's given to you. All right, that's how you do these kinds of problems. And let me come up with a few more examples to solidify your understanding here. 